uh, Mount Shasta in Washington. Uh, they have a huge uh, underground base in Texas. They're just all over the place. And well, they're all connected by this underground <coughs> shuttle system. Well, have you heard about these government um, agencies that have been re- like relocating out to Denver? I, I heard this on Jim McCanny's show. That, and uh, this is supposed to be the, the staging uh, grounds for the New World Order here in the United States. Yeah, that's what the, that's for the New World Order faction itself. Uh, I think they moved out of Norad, though. They moved someplace else down, uh, what is that, the Petersburg Air Force Base or something there? No, this is underneath the uh, Denver International Airport. Oh, the Queensland, yeah. <laughs> that's. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing uh, with the Denver Airport. I mean, it's just a huge underground facility. It's not for them as much as it is a holding tank to kill humans. If you look at the thing and you talk to people that have worked there, there's just acres and acres of fenced-in uh, prison yards. So what do they need that for? People. That's where they're going to be, you know, taking, uh, hoarding a lot of people in during martial law. They're going to be taking them to these underground facilities where they will be exterminating them in these underground facilities. Well, there's a huge one in, in Washington. Uh, there's one in uh, uh, Indianapolis. There's one in uh, Denver. And so they just have these uh, huge, the huge one in Alaska, these huge extermination facilities, and they're not going above ground. You're not going to see an Auschwitz style. They're going underground. Yeah, I, I believe that's why they haven't uh, really had any pictures of these above ground concentration camps is because uh, I think they put a lot of it underground. Yeah, well, the, the extermination facilities definitely... I have a lot of pictures. In fact, someone just sent me pictures yesterday from Grayling, Michi- uh, Michigan, of these uh, constant these FEMA camps, and, and I've got a list of them on my website, The Watcher Files. It shows all of these acres of land, uh, you know, fenced in with barbed wire, and they have the guard towers, and these are just holding pens. These are to herd people in them, hold them until they're picked up by trains and taken to the extermination facilities. And so, a lot of the FEMA camps that you'll see uh, pictures around the internet, they're just holding tanks. They're just going to hold the people there until they can get them on the trains. And for the life of me, I can't figure out why all these people don't at least die trying to get out, getting out of there. I mean, how many soldiers with guns? I mean, if you look at the you know, World War II and you see all these Jews being herded onto trains, you know, thousands of Jews and maybe 10 or 20 gunmen, why didn't they just take the guns away from the soldiers? I would have died trying. You see, right. you're on those trains, you're dead, you know? That's it. Right. Have you ever been interviewed on the Coast to Coast radio show? No. No. No, I've, no I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know. You don't want me on there. Too out there for them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have anybody else out there. <laughs> uh, but they won't let me on the show, so. What do you think is going to happen here in the middle of this month? Um, you think Internet radio shows are going to pretty much go away? Well, they're just going to end up having to come after us pretty much. I mean, I know a lot of big mouths aren't just going to shut up and sit down and say nothing and do nothing. Uh, I know if you've talked to some of these people that have been following their plans for martial law, one of their plans was to pick everybody up two weeks before, pick all the big mouths up, uh, cart them off to camps two weeks before they d- they plan to declare martial law here. So I really don't think that they can shut us up right now. They'd have to demolish Internet 1 like they plan to do and bring up Internet 2. Yeah, I've heard Alex Jones talk about them bringing an Internet 2 into a, a reality. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't see that's going to happen until, uh, maybe that's what strikes chaos here in America. We know it's coming. It's just the pot's boiling. And what's, what's, what's going to set it off? You know, taking down the Internet, uh, getting to the point where we have so many illegal aliens here, it becomes race wars. The pot's boiling. You don't know what's going to do that's going to set it off to begin martial law here in America. They're not counting on any one way either. They've got very, you know, various plans in bringing about martial law. But that's their main thing. Take away the guns from America and then institute martial law. What are your thoughts on um, weather modification? You, you think the New World Order is involved in that, or you think the ET is working with the New World Order on that? Well, they probably gave them the technology. I mean, they've given them a lot of technology. The, the microchip uh, itself is alien technology. And so we've got a lot of technology from them. I believe Russia, Russia probably caused Katrina. I believe Russia did. Uh, China has their own weather modification. America has. Everybody has it. And so they can pretty much cause an earthquake anywhere they want to. They can cause a tsunami anywhere they want to, a hurricane, a tornado. You know, they can pretty much cause any man-made disaster that they want to cause. 
Right, that's something I expose on my show quite often is weather modification. We even have former Defense Secretary William, William Cohen saying that they, they, they can create earthquakes. Mm-hmm. That's a, he, I believe the first six seals mentioned up in the book of Revelation are all man-made created. They're all Satan's wrath on earth. They're all man-made. The plagues, the famine. I see all the time in the Bible codes about the New World Order trying to induce famine around the world. And I believe a lot of this weather modification is said that they can do that so they can induce a famine. Well, we're coming up to the top of the hour. How many closing thoughts um, before I wrap up the show, Sherry? Uh, well, you know, I have, uh, you know, 20 websites out there. I encourage people to spend a lot of time at thewatcherfiles.com or sherryschrader.com. I have a show Monday night at 10 o'clock. At SherryTalkRadio.com. And I talk about all these subjects and, and many, many more. And did you want to give out your email? Uh, <laughs> 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 well, people can reach me at SherryTalkRadio at Yahoo.com. Okay. And it's going to be a hate email. Hate email. I'll just put something in the subject line so I know what's a hate email and I won't even read it. Boy, running 20 websites, you just must be overwhelmed with your research. Because I do one and... It, Boy, it's a lot just to do a two-hour show a week. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a, it's, an over, it's like doing the work of ten people full time, and you're doing it yourself. And you know, over the years, I've just I don't take anything off; I just add on. And so over the years, it's just um, accumulated. And the, the Watcher Files is a huge site because I never take anything off. Yeah, this agenda the New World Order has planned for us. They, boy, the the sheeple out there, they just don't know how overwhelming the evidence is that this this stuff's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, we're just biding time. We're buying time. I see a lot of things coming to head by 2009. <clears throat> and so, you know, anything could happen from here to then. We could be in a war in Iran. We could be in World War III. Uh, but either way, America's going to be in martial law. Hillary Clinton's name's all over it. And we're looking at 2009 as, as a set-off time. So you never know what could happen before then. Do you think there's going to be some kind of sudden, ar- abrupt change in December of 2012? Uh, yeah. Well, it, you know, I, I believe it's going to be much earlier than that, much earlier, because they're looking at 2012 as the as the, the date of ascension or whatever. We're looking at the the coming second coming of Christ is at the same time in 2012, and so you're looking at Armageddon in 2012, 2011. Maybe the reason we're here in 2012 on these radio shows is because they don't really want the public to be, you know, they just don't. They want the public to think they got tons and tons of time to prepare. Yeah, and they don't. They don't realize that the governments of the world are working together to 